San Antonio Spurs coach Greg Popovich suggesting wealthy Americans should be spending more on charity than they do. Here's what he said. Because we're rich as hell and we don't need it all and other people need it, then you're an A if you don't give it. Pretty simple. So, Patrice, this is the last weekend you can make a 2017 contribution to get your deduction. Should we take Popovich to heart and give a little more? Only in as much as we think that Americans are charitable and should give to whatever they cause they believe in. But he's absolutely wrong to try to guilt trip people into, into, into charitable giving. I mean, it's from a mentality that says, you know, you earned it, but you earned it at the expense of someone else. When in fact, people who are wealthy, or are, are they're job creators. They're people who've taken the risk and the market has rewarded them with that wealth. Now, it's great if they give, but there's no moral imperative for them to. But even, Bill, if you're looking at how much Americans give, we are givers that eclipse everybody else. We give 1.4% of our, our GDP to charities. The next closest country that does as Canada, 0.77%. So we are big givers already, Bill. Well, we are too stingy, I think, and I'm guilty of that too. But here's a partial solution. In lieu of some of our usual gift giving, my wife and I have allowed our kids to direct money to charities that they care about. It's really opened our eyes. That's not a bad idea, but again, Steve, we give $390 billion away to charities. That's a lot of money. Uh, yes, David, in the last 60 years, per capita, per person in this country, giving has gone up three and a half fold. When the American people have more, they give more. We're the most philanthropic nation ever invented, the most commercial nation ever invented, and those are two sides of the same coin, meeting the needs and wants of other people. We create resources, we give away resources, to those who need it. And Bruce, guess who's giving it away? The people you love, the top 1%. A third of all contributions to charities are given by that evil top 1%. Well, as they should, and now maybe they'll be able to have more money to give more given this massive tax cut that they're getting. But but listen, Greg Popovich comes from an interesting perspective. He's, he's, a, he's a veteran of the Air Force. Uh, he's a person of service, and so I don't think you know, he should be criticized because I think that's his message. You know, there's there's also right. other ways to give time, talent, and treasure, and, and this is the season of giving, and hopefully people are doing that. Well, and also, we should mention, by the way, that, that it was the media that really put on that guilt trip, that he was guilt tripping people. I, it wasn't necessarily from his statement. It might have been the media's spin on what he said. But, John, what do you think about all this? Do Americans give enough? Well, I think Popovich should stick to basketball, about which he knows endless amounts. Uh, the reality is that the path to getting rich is the biggest contribution to society. Why do we think someone who's brilliant at business has a clue about charity? Um, invariably, when they give to charity, they reduce their contribution to society. Well, that's an interesting <laughs> point of view, Bill. What do you think? Uh, I'm not so sure about that. Uh, I, I think there's some theory, though, that if people do get more prosperous, they certainly will be more generous, and this is going to be a good century for generosity. Well, Patrice, that's the point. It, 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 it's true that when you create things and build things, you're also usually helping other people in terms of giving them jobs and pay raises and stuff. But it's also true that the more money you make, the more people, at least Americans, do give it away. It doesn't necessarily happen in other countries, but it does happen here. That's exactly right. And when you look at why, um, there's a strong sense of, of commitment to your community and wanting to do better because you think that individuals are more effective at, uh, at intractable solutions than the government. But then there's also the religious aspect. So when you look at the number of people right. who give in the United States, uh, a, a good number of them are giving to, uh, to, to religious organizations, something like 39%. Yeah. So there's that American spirit that's tied to religion, but also just tied to community. And Steve, there's something else that's unique to America. John Tamney pointed out in a column he wrote this week, if you look at the Forbes 400 list, go back about 20 years, you won't see many of the same companies on that list today. It's always changing. So Americans realize that there is real opportunity and they want to spread that opportunity because they're they're proud of it and they're thankful for it. Yes, and the turnover is amazing. This is a dynamic society. And by the way, Warren Buffett knew he wasn't a charity expert. That's why he turned to somebody who's focusing his life on it, Bill Gates, to do his charitable giving. So uh, good point. make the resources and then have the people who know how to make them better. And it feels good to give. Coming yes, up, new year, new picks. Our informers with the stocks they say.